how you feel about your birth and how you feel about your child at the moment of birth sets off all kinds of primal pathways that are never superseded by anything else in life. Never superseded. The way we are born, the way we are raised and nurtured is what makes us mammals, humans, which makes us open to be able to take care of each other in the world. We have to give birth. Um, we're not going to, to survive as a species as if we forget how to give birth. Most of our cultural images, unfortunately, are so they're horrific. They're so scary. I mean, you know, 10 minutes on the baby channel or whatever birth story you're looking at is enough to send you running. We speak to the pain and the fear of birth when I wish we were speaking to the power and the, the amazing gift and the opportunity it is to become your best self. To me, birth is not a medicalized event, not a, an event where there are problems and it's dangerous and scary. To me, it's a, it's a celebration, it's sacred, it's powerful, it's a psychosexual event. Not only are we holding space for an event, but we are holding space for action actually a biological patterning. That connection to ourselves, our being, our bodies um, is part of the legacy of midwifery. I am a midwife. 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 Birth matters to everyone involved in the process. It matters so much to the baby how that baby is born. If the baby is born, you know, peacefully into this world, that baby is going to make those archetypal decisions that humans make in those first critical two hours of life that, hey, this is, this is not so bad. The decision that, li that I matter, that I am valued, that I am cherished, is solidified in that person. And of course, those are the people that we want running <laughs> running things when they grow up, is those people that feel like they matter. Those moments uh, when the, as Michelle Adam says, when the love hormones and the love cocktail between the mommy and the baby, if you don't have that happening, because all you're doing is reliving the most frightening thing that ever happened to you really sets you off into a different type of lifetime of foraging a relationship and a bond. There's a moment at birth that the baby's been born, has been put right on mom's chest, and it can go anywhere from five seconds to ten minutes where nobody knows what this baby is. It's just a baby, and the mom and the dad are all about this baby and the love. There's no attached anything to it. There's nothing but just love. It matters to the mother because what she is able to do in, in her experience of birth is going to inform her confidence for the rest of her life in everything that she does. The process of birth is um, the way we were designed as humans on the planet to make that transcendence, to become that better self to become that mother and it's a powerful experience that many of us are f afraid of. I wish the general public could have more positive images of birth no matter what. That could be in the hospital, that could be at home. I just think that birth has the potential to be so sweet and so juicy. Home births after cesarean are some of the most victorious births. See that mom pull that little wet slimy, slippery little baby that, that smells so delicious. And for the first time, they actually get the opportunity to do that, to see a mom blossom as a result of that. Many times I have heard of how it, it changes a person. Once a woman has found that innate part of herself that is full of power and passion and uh, complete primal instinct, then she just becomes the most unbelievably awesome person that she can be for herself, for her family, for her baby, 
for her community. And they don't call it labor for nothing. It's hard work, but you can do it. Because once you have a baby, and you you made you safely made it through that passage. You know, there's nothing I can't do. If I if I did that, there's nothing I can't do. For the partner that's involved, the admiration and respect that they gain from that partner, seeing them in that transform from a single woman and then yeah. the mother. Yeah. To be able to watch her go through that transformative process yeah. is really amazing. I got to experience it firsthand. The way that my husband looked at me through my labor made me just made him appreciate me. And in return, his support for me through my labor was huge in our marriage afterwards. One of the Mohawk words for midwife is Yewilokwas. She's pulling the baby out of the water, out of the earth, or a dark, wet place. There's blessings in that relationship to the earth and to the body of the woman and you begin to understand uh, our true relationship of, of, of women to this earth even though we hear uh, it's become a rhetorical tool our mother the earth but to really inhabit the consciousness of what that means you you begin to understand that in the practice of midwifery as a midwife affecting change around the maternal child health. And that includes wellness, spiritual wellness, not just physical wellness. If we could empower women and safeguard babies around those moments of birth, the primal time, pregnancy a year or two out after the birth, you know, I feel like environmental issues, political issues, these things would fall into place if we were taking care of our women and children. And the first time I went to that birth, and, and I saw that baby with that mother, and it was like, it was beautiful, and, and it was right. It was very right, and I knew that in my heart, and I knew, I have to do this. this. This is something that has to happen for everyone, not just by accident, but on purpose. Helping human beings to come onto the planet in a way that is more conscious and more uh, genetically patterned for peace, for conflict resolution, for gentleness, and for ability to be a really fabulous part of the human race. We're coming out of a few thousand years of women being highly disempowered, and now is the time that we're turning this whole story into a new story, a story where it's about empowerment. It's about women really having a sense of who they are and what they really think about how they want to raise their families or how they want to be on this earth and women are going to make the difference in this world so we need to begin midwifing them into a sense of their true selves it's an opportunity to really say to women uh, you can do this you are powerful and from here on out don't ever forget it i'm a midwife i'm a midwife we, we are, are midwives. midwives i'm a midwife i am a midwife i am a midwife making it better for all human beings by taking care of the women giving birth. I am a midwife.